right way to do it. Let me show you the right way. Hello my friends and welcome to Art Fashion channel. I'm Daria, the artist who paints on clothes. And in this video I'm gonna react to 5 minute crafts clothes customization hacks. 5 minute crafts is a very popular YouTube channel with more than 60 million subscribers and channel makes uh, easy hacks videos, all kind of hacks. Uh, but most of those hacks are very questionable, so reaction videos to those hacks are very popular on YouTube as well. Probably all kind of YouTubers made reaction videos to 5 minute crafts hacks, uh, beauty YouTubers, fashion YouTubers, uh, science YouTubers, cooker, cooking YouTubers, comedy YouTubers, but I guess that this is gonna be the first time when uh, professional clothes customizer or as I simply call myself artist who paints on clothes will react to clothes customization hacks and this is gonna be my first ever reaction video so I'm very excited and not only I'm gonna react to the hacks uh, but also I want to make this video useful uh, so I want to share with you some tips and I want to show you how to turn bad hacks into good hacks uh, probably with a bit more effort uh, but at least you will have something wearable as a result so let's get started So I'm gonna react to the video which has uh, 10 million views. Just a dream for my channel, just a dream. <laughs> and I'm gonna react to uh, hacks with fabric paint or textile dye and to those hacks which I find interesting or questionable. So let's see what they got for us. Heart, t-shirt for a Valentine's Day. <laughs> Okay, it's a tie-dye t-shirt. Tie-dye clothes are very popular right now uh, and if you can make some interesting pattern, not just spiral, which everybody does, go for it. Like, look, um, the result is not bad, like, it looks interesting, uh, but t-shirt ruins everything for me, because this t-shirt, uh, neck of it, like, that is slim fit t-shirt, uh, t-shirt is not fashionable or stylish, and, like, if this design was made on a regular fit t-shirt, like this one, or on an uh, oversized t-shirt, it would have been much more beautiful. Like clothes in clothes customization are very important because it's like painting on bad canvas. You won't get beautiful result. You can make the dopest design, but if your clothes are not beautiful, stylish or fashionable, the result will not be beautiful. Okay, next hack. Hmm. This kind of plastic is not recyclable, so if you can use it in some way like for crafts for example that's amazing well hmm. okay it's stamping um, like, look, it can be a great idea for crafting with your kit. Your kit is gonna love it and will proudly wear such t-shirt. But to make such t-shirt for yourself, like, I don't know. Like, uh, first of all, why I don't like such technique? Because it looks exactly like a print. There is no sign that this t-shirt is hand-painted, handmade, and unique. And that is the whole point of clothes customization, to make something unique and one of a kind, something which you can't find anywhere and something which will speak to your personality. 
And let me show you the examples of uh, unique handmade, hand-painted t-shirts with whales or ocean creatures, which were made by professional artists. Uh, of course, uh, to make such t-shirt you need artistic skills, uh, but uh, I want you to understand what I try to explain to you. Uh, how unique and hand-painted t-shirt can look like. Okay, next hack. Fabric paint. Uh, you know, I guess uh, it's a Ukrainian channel and they use the Kola fabric paints for painting. The Kola is a Russian brand uh, which produces fabric paints and uh, they produce very good quality fabric paints. So if you live in Russia or in any other country where you can find the Kola fabric paints, uh, you can definitely use them, they are very good quality paints. is interesting like I see the idea here it reminds me of this uh, psychological tests uh, when you look at the image and you say what you see there I forgot the name of them and uh, you know the idea is very important and I love to create designs with an idea but you know what I don't like here they didn't put cardboard inside of a t-shirt and there is a big chance that uh, these stains will appear on the back side of a t-shirt but not in a beautiful way they will appear there uh, so yeah you should definitely put cardboard inside of a t-shirt while painting it's very important okay next hack Queen <laughs> t-shirt Okay, here I see the problem I can clearly see that fabric paint didn't connect with fabric With fibers And I guess that this t-shirt will not survive After first washing, design will disappear Because it's important for fabric paint to connect with fabric, with fibers And then when you uh, heat set fabric paints, they become one with a t-shirt, with fabric And then t-shirt becomes washable But here we can see that uh, paint stays on the surface uh, it's i don't know why i didn't see the problem uh, such problem with whale probably this surface which they use for stamping is not good for stamping so you should be careful and also uh, this design um, reminds me of graffiti designs and actually graffiti style is one of the easiest and coolest styles uh, when it comes to clothes customization and let me show you how you can easily create graffiti style uh, t-shirt in the right way i'm gonna show you design on a small piece of fabric and i'm gonna use spray fabric paint for background uh, of course it's optional if you don't have a spray fabric paint you don't have to use it but if you can find it i recommend you to use it because it will definitely give such graffiti vibes and let's make the same design, queen and crown Oops, <laughs> I made a mistake but I'm gonna fix it uh, There's no problem, if you make a mistake you can always fix it So the idea of graffiti style on clothes is to cover up your clothes in writing, some images, symbols You can write whatever you want, you can use different fonts, you can splatter paint like there are no rules and then the messy your artwork will be the better <laughs> and just look how cool this style looks on clothes uh, denim jackets leather jackets t-shirts sweatshirts you can customize all kind of clothes in graffiti style yes it's the cola the the cola fabric paints as i said Mm. 
you know, it's a, as I call it, watercolor effect technique when you mix fabric paints with water, but that is not the right way to do it. Let me show you the right way. The right way is to mix fabric paint with water on a palette and then apply paint on fabric with brush and then you will have control over paint, over water and you will be able to create a much more beautiful, uh, artistically beautiful uh, watercolor effect background. Also you can splatter paint, you can create watercolor effect paint splatters. And like, you see the difference? And such watercolor effect background looks amazing on clothes. And here you can see examples, uh, backgrounds were created in such technique. Oh my god, <laughs> uh, like the fish is ugly. If you want to make something like that, at least find some beautiful fish. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. I, I think I don't have to explain to you why this idea is bad and why I shouldn't do something like that. <laughs> uh, but now I begin to understand why this video has 10 million views. Probably you need to make something stupid, something which will encourage people to write a comment. <laughs> uh, yeah, you need to make something stupid uh, to get 10 million views. You need to make something stupid to get 10 million views. <laughs> uh, I guess this is carp fish and actually there is a possibility to create beautiful carp fish design. Let me show you how. I'm gonna create a koi carp fish uh, design, a uh, design inspired by Japanese tattoo. And first I'm drawing design on paper. If you don't have any artistic skills, you don't know how to draw, uh, you can use some stock image and then print it and use it for your design. Then I'm using transfer paper to transfer drawing from paper to fabric. And then I use black color fabric paint and small size brush to outline my fish. Then I add a couple of shadows. Then I'm painting sun, I'm using flat brush and I'm making strokes. I want to create a bit abstract sun. And then splattering paint. I love to use as many techniques as possible, so I make lines with outliner, but of course it's optional. <laughs> and then waves, I'm painting them with light blue color. Well, I understand that such design requires time and effort and some artistic skills, but like it's not a dead fish on your t-shirt <laughs> and the result will be wearable, so it's worth your time. Spinners, or how do you call them? Oh, <laughs> it's fun! Like, the process is fun and you will definitely have so much fun making such design, but the result is bad. <laughs> and actually, it's so easy to create paint splashes, paint splatters designs. Like, it's so easy. And let me show you how. The first technique which you can use is fabric paint pouring. You need to mix in a cup fabric paint with a small amount of water and then pour this mix uh, on your fabric, uh, on your clothes to create beautiful paint splashes. And then you can make paint splatters with brush just throwing paint on your clothes. 
You can also add some writings, images. If you have outliners, you can use them too. <laughs> this design is pretty easy. I made it like in five minutes. And look how cool it can look on a t-shirt. Uh, you know, guys, I always say that anybody can paint on clothes. Like anybody, even if you don't have artistic skills, you can customize your clothes and you can create cool, interesting design on your clothes. For example, you can create something in graffiti style, you can write, you can spray paint, you can splatter paint and you will have amazing result. But as you could see in this video, there are a lot of ways uh, of wrong customization, wrong designs, wrong techniques, wrong clothes. So yeah, I hope guys that this video uh, helped you in some way and you will understand how you can easily and in the right way customize your clothes. And uh, if you like this video, please smash that like button to support my art and my channel. And if you are new here, subscribe for more painting on clothes videos. And I hope to see you next time. Fashion is art. Bye bye.